This is my favorite mug by far. You can see that. Total vibes, and it's Dutch Bros, so can't complain. I, uh, I read another story today, and this one was really cool because it's about a topic that I wanted to talk about for a while, um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, you guys tell me what you guys think of it, too. Maybe you can share it with some other peeps as well. Um, so basically the story is there was a little boy who had a horrible temper, just absolutely awful. Um, and the father approached uh, his son and he told him, uh, he actually handed him a bag of nails and a hammer. And he told him that every single time he lost his temper, he had to go take a nail and drive it into the fence in the backyard. Within the first day, the little boy had put 37 nails into the fence. But gradually over time, the little boy noticed that it was a lot easier for him to control his temper than it was for him to put the nails into the fence. And so eventually he got to the point where uh, he wasn't putting nails into the fence anymore and he learned how to control his temper. And he approached his father and he told him. And his father then suggested, he said, now I want you for every single day that you don't lose your temper, I want you to take a nail out of the fence. And the days go by, and finally, um, the son, uh, rejoicing, goes to his father and tells him, Father, I've taken every single nail out of the fence. And the father takes him by the hand, and he walks him back out into the backyard, and he shows him the fence, and he says, You have done well, son, but look at the holes in this fence. This fence will never be the same. When you lash out in anger, and you say things, and you lose your temper, you leave scars just like this one. You could put a knife in a man, and, but no matter how many times you say you're sorry, the wound is still there. Realizing the, the power of his words, the little boy turned to his father and he said, I hope one day you can forgive me for the holes that I have put in you. And the father looks down at him and he smiles and he says, of course I can. The moral of the story is, is your words have power. A lot more power than you think. My favorite excuse that I hear these days is, oh, it was just a joke. Well, even if it was just a joke, you still drove a nail into that fence. And even if you try to, ju uh, to justify uh, what you just said and you try to pull that nail out, even if you had a good reason, there's still a hole in there. Your words have power, whether you know it or not. As simple as they can be, they can either bring life or they can bring death. And it only takes a spark in a forest to light the entire thing on fire within minutes. Did you know that the most uh, impactful and powerful weapon of World War II wasn't an atomic bomb? It wasn't a machine gun, it wasn't a tank, it wasn't any of those things. It was words. Adolf Hitler convinced an entire country to turn against the Jews and ended up killing millions of them. Later on in history, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Re reformed the way and revolutionized this country and its foundational principles with segregation between race. I mean, you can look all throughout history and see that the number one thing that people use to change the world was their words. God spoke the earth into creation. He didn't think it. He didn't use his hands. He spoke it. And being created in his image, we hold the same characteristics. Your words have power, whether you believe it or not. So my challenge to you is this. How many holes do you have in the backyard fence? How many scars have you left that you didn't realize you had? When you look back at the end of your days, how many holes do you want to see in that fence? Now I understand there are times that um, we can't always control um, necessarily uh, how people understand or interpret what we say, but that's just even more of a challenge for us to make sure that we are always on top of it, speaking life and encouragement and, and joy into other people. You want to speak life and not death. So reflect on it. How many holes do you have in your fence? How many scars have you created? What, what holes can you try and mend going from here? What tweet that you send out 
that wasn't necessary. What Instagram comment was pretty sarcastic or uh, was not necessarily uh, something you needed to say? When was the last time you raged against someone in person or had an argument or said something that hurt someone? Your words leave an impact, just like the holes in the fence. Never forget that. Love you guys.